I am Marty Rifkin. Uh, I am the owner of the Rifkin Group, the president. Um, and we are in the International Harvester Building, 301 South Blount Street, which is just uh, off the Capitol Square in Madison, Wisconsin. The building started out in two parts. In 1898, the first section was constructed. The next section was constructed, which is this section on this side of the brick wall, it was in 1910. The McCormick Machine Company used the original building for a branch house. It was, in fact, a sales office for their machinery and equipment. And it was pretty prominent in the, amongst all of the machine equipment uh, buildings along Williamson Street and Blount Street. Today it's a mixed-use building with individual uh, spaces designed for tenants such as the Google space, which we're in now, which is about 5,000 square feet. When Google selected our building after they came to Madison and looked around, and when they finally chose ours, uh, they chose it just because of some of its features. One of them had to do with the high ceilings, the walls, the brick, some of the features in the building itself. Design inspiration was really to keep as much of the original historic character of the building in place, and that was really the fun part of the renovation of the project. Some of the unique features in the Google space uh, include the tractor cabin. They actually took the cab of a, of, a, of a tractor and they set it in the center of the space and they created a phone booth. The walls that are behind me um, are actually uh, part of the elevator tower. It was a very large freight elevator, big enough for a tractor. When we dismantled the freight elevator, the doors, they were turned sideways and they became kind of space separators for some of their interior uses in the Google space. Another really interesting feature as part of the design that the architect prepared for their space was this kitchen area in which they used the craftsman kind of toolboxes that you bought, you would see in a, in a maintenance shop, but they are using it for such things as silverware and storage for food. The artwork is also quite unique and special that they've placed and they've kept it within the theme of a McCormick International Harvester uh, kind of a period. Uh, you'll see as you come into the space some unique artwork that uh, is hanging at the entrance of their lobby. Uh, in, in the space itself there are various pieces of uh, original artwork some of which may have come either from the building or possibly they could have come from the State Historical Society or photographs that may have been replicated in some of the artwork that they had done here. But it adds a lot of flavor and character to the theme of the International Harvester Building.